Well, welcome to another episode in our series, Creativity and Innovation for Knowledge Management Programs. Today, our theme is Collective Intelligence. My name is John Gerard, and I'm delighted to be joined by Stephanie Barnes. Stephanie, thanks so much for joining me today. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to do another one. Collective intelligence seems to be a topic of conversation quite frequently these days. So what is it and why is it important for organizational leaders? Um, it's about shared or group intelligence. So collaboration, learning from each other, working together towards a common, common means, common to end. Um, I think it's important um, because we're better together. You know, one person can only know so much and have so much experience and, and knowledge about, you know, anything. But together, you know, if we two of us work on it, then we've just doubled our knowledge and our experience. If we bring six of us together, then we just, you know, multiplied by six and so on. So I think, you know, we there's strength in numbers and, and certainly lots more knowledge and experience too. Sure. I used to have a tagline that said knowledge shared is knowledge squared. And that was kind of building on, on that idea. How is it that collective intelligence helps in the creation and exchange of organizational knowledge? Well, it comes back to what I was just saying, that one person can't know everything, but together we know lots of things. So that sharing and learning from others is really a big part of knowledge management. Really, it's what knowledge management should be all about, although sometimes we all know it gets caught up in technology and some other you know, mm. things. But, but knowledge management really should be about learning and sharing. So the collective intelligence, that's actually the first time I heard it, was in reference to a company that had changed their... Um, knowledge management program from being called knowledge management to collective intelligence. And I thought, oh, what a great name and so much more descriptive of what knowledge management should be about is that collaboration and that sharing and, and learning from each other. So. Absolutely. So teams have always been an important part of knowledge management. And in fact, many KM techniques, aside from those that rely solely on technology, but many KM techniques that I think of after action reviews, peer assist, communities of practice, uh, many of those really have a collective goal. So are they really part of the collective intelligence toolbox? Absolutely. And I think that's what makes collective intelligence such a great name for knowledge management. And knowledge management has so much baggage with it because it's gotten tied in with technology and, and sort of weighed down with that and, and gotten a lot of uh, bad press, really. And, and But collective intelligence, I think, really... Um, speaks to people more somehow maybe there's a better understanding of what that really means when you say knowledge management to people what does that really mean i think we mentioned that a bit last time in the first episode you know people really don't know what it means but collective intelligence oh, well collective means you know all of us intelligence is how smart you know we are together so smart together oh that makes that makes more sense I agree. And, you know, when the military talks about intelligence, it's a very deliberate act. It's a, it's a planned activity and many people are involved in the collection of intelligence. Uh, but it's definitely a team sport with very specific and identifiable uh, goals. So I think that is something that, you know, really could help uh, knowledge management, knowledge management uh, programs. So what are the next step for leaders that are interested in collective intelligence? I think start looking for ways to help people to work together. And that's not just about the technology. In fact, it's probably not about the technology because I think we probably have enough technology in our organizations. It's really about creating a culture and an environment where it's okay to ask questions, where people are encouraged to be curious and to share their knowledge. Um, you know, that that especially that knowledge, I worked with an organization once that there were a lot of educate, really well-educated people that may have been working and were working in a, in a role that wasn't directly related to all of this education that they had. So encourage those people to share their knowledge in other disciplines, even though it's not part of their day job, you know, they still have all this knowledge and education, encourage them to share it in other areas so that, that it might fit better. Absolutely, and I think your point about culture is so important when we're talking about these team sports, uh, we really do have to have that culture that encourages uh, this idea of sharing and working together, collaborating and all of those issues. 
Well, Stephanie, thanks yeah. so much for joining me today with our discussion on collective intelligence. Let's talk again soon. That would be great. Now, for all of you that are listening, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future episodes, and of course, post any comments that you have and we will answer them for sure. Thanks so much. Bye.